It is the beginning of April here in 2023, and man, the weather's crazy. We had frost again this week, it's multiple crazy. mornings. It's crazy. Yeah, we were driving in this morning, or yesterday, you came with me, and so uh, I leave before the sun's up, and we were 39 degrees as we were driving down the road leading to the farm. So frost again this morning was chilly we had to have jackets on getting this stuff done so the zucchini that you planted a couple weeks ago finally <laughs> came up right yeah and we had a few folks suggest that we would plant marigolds mm -hmm. so you did i did so yes. you decided to get them on both sides of that zucchini i wasn't sure how close or how far away they had to be or Yes, yeah, so I put one on each side of each one. Well, you can definitely smell them. So when I got that shot this morning of uh, the zucchini and the marigolds, you could definitely smell the marigolds, which I think is the key with all that. Okay. Is the stench. So even though we've had frost, we've had the farm slowly coming back to life. I know one of the things that's definitely different this year, last year on the last day of March, we actually tried our first champagne loquat. And I got a shot of them this morning. They're nowhere near ripe yet. That's crazy. Yeah, so they're still solid green and small. So we're still a few weeks away from that. So I'm guessing we're probably two to three weeks behind, basically, because of the cold weather that we've had here this spring. One of the things we've been wanting to get done is separating out our turkeys that we keep basically as pets from our chickens. Now, a couple reasons for that. The first one is we have new chickens that are gonna be coming in onto the farm here in about a month. They'll be moving into the chicken run as our new laying flock here this fall. 
Now, they're already a little cramped in our coop, so we want to give them more space. And then also, it's really best that you keep turkeys and chickens separate. They've been doing fine together, but there's one disease, I think it's called blackhead disease or something like that, that turkeys can get, that chickens can harbor, but it can kill your turkeys and it doesn't harm your chickens. So what we're gonna be working on today is actually separating the duck enclosure because we've actually reduced the flock of ducks that we have down by about half. We don't need quite this much space. So we're gonna give a 16 by 32 pen for the turkeys because turkeys can also roam the farm because they're not nearly as destructive as the chickens. And we do really like watching the ducks kind of wander around the farm and just kind of take over the place. For the pins for these birds, we've decided to go with the Tractor Supply Universal Poultry Pin. And what we like about this is it has a hard top. So one of the things that we have here with our both our ducks and our turkeys, as well as the chickens, all night long we've got owls that roam the property, which is fantastic because they help keep the rodent population down. However, we need to make sure they're not getting in to our birds. So we prefer the hard tops We'll be doing the exact same thing in the new turkey enclosure on the back side. Now what we're gonna have to figure out is a nice hard top as far as keeping some of the rain out. Now the ducks don't seem to mind, but the turkeys are not big fans. So this one I think is going to work. It's okay if there's a gap at the bottom. Perfect. Ended in the perfect spot.
want to angle this out just a little. So we have the duck and turkey separation completed. At least the turkeys have a home now. What you saw us doing today was installing a door into the entrance of the area that we have set aside for our turkeys now. We're using the same enclosure as we're doing for the ducks, which will allow us to do a hard top to keep them nice and dry, although they don't seem to care too much. But like we talk about here in the desert, you need to have a nice big open coop and this is essentially what this is gonna be for our turkeys. Now, one of the big differences between turkeys and chickens is their weight. So in designing their coop, we used a two by four for our five turkeys, also a vertical piece of two by four to help reinforce that so that the weight doesn't basically start bowing that wood and so we don't have any issues there. So we're using the same setup here as we did in our chicken coop with the three inch tubing and all the three inch pieces in order to make the big candy canes that works great as far as automatic feeders. Now the one thing we still need to do is we need to get an automatic water system installed here because we've had such good success with our chicken rain barrel water. We're gonna do the exact same thing for the turkeys here. We'll just have it along this side so it's easy for us to get to the barrel from the outside in order to fill that up. All right, I think we are finally done with this. All we need to do now is get some shade cloth up, some roofing, and the turkeys get to move. It is definitely starting to warm up a little bit. Yeah. Finally. I mean, it's easy for us to complain about the nice, beautiful spring we've had when we never get an actual spring. I know. <laughs> what I really thought was cool was to see our very first harvest of this year. So this is one of our artichokes. We've got two different types of artichokes planted here on the end caps of the garden beds because these come back every year and that's what we wanted to do in these end caps. But this little guy here is our very, very first artichoke. We've never actually grown them before, right? So you guys actually got a chance to see our very, very first harvest off of one of our artichoke plants. And I think we're gonna have to have this tonight for dinner. What do you say? Sounds good. Well, maybe with dinner, because this sure as heck is not yeah, enough for me. No. <laughs> <laughs> so just want to thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. We cover a lot of things here on this newly established functioning farm and would love to see you on a regular basis. If you have any questions or comments, those go in the comments section down below. And our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. That is a free painless way to help support the channel. If you start with the link down below, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you if we can farm on the edge of nowhere. So can you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 I don't know if I got one. There might still be one out of yeah, here. I got him. Yeah. <laughs> Old man knees. Come on, beautiful, gorgeous. We got work to do. Yeah. He's a. Ch He's been eating good. Well, yeah. Living under the jack pallets. Yep. Should throw them out there, see what happens with the chickens. Ooh, look at the size of that night crawler. Holy cow. Look at that. It's as tall as you, honey. <laughs> That's how big that is. Oh wait, is it two of them? Ooh, I think this is two of them getting it on. So you disturbed them? I think I just interrupted some night crawler sex. Go ahead and kill the camera. Are you sure? I'm stuck. Oh, I know. How are you getting over here? I'm a specialist. Hang on to my earbud. All right.
This is one of these times when it's an advantage to have a small man as a husband. <laughs> Booyah. So just want to thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. We cover a lot of things here on this newly established functioning farm on the airs. <laughs> I'm looking this way because of the sun. <laughs> oh, okay. It threw me off. I'm like, did I say something wrong? No, sorry. Okay, do over. You know, you can look at me anytime you want to. <laughs> I know, I'm all like. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of would like you to get tunnel vision for Guard me. my eyes. Aww. Look <laughs> adorable. You kind of look Amish or something right there for a second. Amish? Is that right? No. What wow. Is that? What is that when you have the little bonnet? Not Irish. Like a. Might be Amish. Little House on the Prairie girl? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure either. <laughs>